he was supposed to be the supreme leader of a master race, a paragon of physical and mental health to lead Germany to a glorious future. But behind the Führer facade was a fragile pill popper. Dependent on a dubious daily diet of injections, tablets, and tonics, in just a few years, the almighty Führer was reduced to a feeble, trembling figure. Much of the Führer's medical history was lost, but not all. A series of intriguing records and letters have come to light, revealing Hitler's medical secrets. Evidence of drug abuse, sex stimulants, and psychological breakdowns. At the center of it all, the Führer's infamous personal physician, Dr. Theodor Morell. When the American interrogators of Morell found out all the different 28 treatments he was giving, like the ground bull testis and the semen and the prostate glands and so on, some of them wondered whether he was a double agent, whether he had purposefully, in a way, made Hitler so much um, dysfunctional that he couldn't win, he couldn't achieve what he wanted. Theodor Morell was the Führer's trusted personal doctor for nine years. Hitler heaped praise and honors upon him, but other Nazi doctors despised him, dismissed him as a quack, and blamed him for the dictator's dramatic deterioration. Other Nazi doctors within Hitler's circle poured scorn upon Morell, described him as a quack, a charlatan, a complete phony, and insinuated that he had done a lot of damage to Hitler. After the war, the obese doctor confessed to administering a cocktail of drugs, opiates, morphine, barbiturates, and possibly amphetamines, leading to speculation that his treatment caused the dictator's extreme behavior. We call it rapid cycling, constant rapid cycling. Uh, I don't think that Hitler had a day of normal mood in, in my reading of this from about 1942 to 1945. Sensational evidence has emerged of a Führer off his face, a hapless hypochondriac, a high Hitler. 